All right, hey, this is Jay Sones back with another video. This one's gonna be about Razor Enhanced. A lot of people are asking like, what's the difference between Razor Enhanced and Razor scripting, not scripting, macros, etc. So this video is gonna talk about Razor Enhanced and how to get it installed. And then we're gonna talk quickly about what servers you can play it on and what you can. I don't know if you know this or not, but I've been running a website, it's called uoaddicts.com. uoaddicts.com is where you're gonna find any information you want about UO. Okay, whether you want to watch people stream UO, whether you want to look for a new server to play, uh, UO Addicts is where it's at in order to find builds. We can get some builds on here. We've been playing on Unchained, UO Unchained, and they allow the use of Brazer Enhanced. However, it's not installed by default. So again, this video is going to cover how to get it installed. We're going to learn some basics about it and talk about why you might want to use it while you play UO. All right, the links will be in the description, but basically what you want to do is you want to head over to RazorEnhance.net. Uh, you could Google Razor Enhance, but the, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and there's a little download button right here, the latest build. You're going to click that little latest build. It's going to download a zip. Okay, now that we got our Razor Enhance downloaded as a zip, we're going to actually extract those files into Unchained's gameplay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to right click here. We're going to say extract all. And then we're gonna click browse and uh, mine saved under my C games folder. And then I have a Ultima Online Unchained. We don't wanna put in the root folder though. We actually wanna put in the plugins folder, which is inside of data plugins. In here, we're gonna make a new folder called Razor Enhanced. And we'll click that and we'll say select folder. And so basically we're going to extract Again, the, the Razor files into our games folder, data, plugins, and then a new folder called Razor Enhance that we did. And we're gonna say extract. All right, what that's gonna do is it's going to then show us the plugins folder. Uh, and if we have, you know, Razor is what came with Unchained, but we just downloaded Razor Enhance, so you should see that. You can run Razor Enhance directly from the EXE, but for this video, we're actually gonna run it from the plugins folder, which means we're gonna let the game patcher load up Enhanced. So we need to make one more change before we can actually see this. We'll go to the main games Ultima Online Unchained folder, and then we're gonna open up our settings.json file. So we're going to right click that and we're going to say open with notepad. And what this settings.json file is, is basically the game's way of knowing what to load. So it's your account information, like where we're actually going to connect to actually load the login server, uh, different information about where the window should load. And the other thing here is the plugins. OK, so we did. We, I don't remember if you saw, but we had the Razor plugin folder. Well, now we have a Razor Enhanced plugin folder. Now, if you only want to have one or the other, that's totally fine. For these demo purposes, we're actually going to have both. Uh, so we want to do basically the same thing, but with Razor Enhanced and Razor Enhanced. So we're loading the Razor Enhanced folder and we're looking for the Razor Enhanced executable. If I hit file and save here, uh, and if we go ahead and load up Unchained, so we'll run the unchained.exe. That's going to run the patcher. And you'll see that it says that the settings.json file needs to be updated because it's different. We're actually going to skip that file. If there's ever a patch and this shows up, you just want to uncheck that file and then hit apply. Uh, or you, since this is the only one, you can also click cancel patch. But for this reference, we're just going to hit apply patch with it unchecked. If you happen to change your settings.json file, you need to make sure you go back in there and edit it and add back in the uh, plugin information for Razor Enhanced. But if we load the classic client now from that login boss in the middle, we can see that we loaded Razor Enhance. We have the regular Razor, and then we got the game itself. So let's just go ahead and log in real quick and see what it's looking like. So here we go. We got Razor Enhanced. We got regular Razor. So far, so good. Let's see what we could do. In the Razors, wh whichever one you want, Razor Enhanced or regular Razor, is there's a profile section. Uh, I've already been playing, so I actually have a, a profile for the regular Razor version. But we're going to also make a profile for our Razor Enhanced. So what we can do is we're just going to say add, and then we'll say a new one. And this is going to be Jace Owns, uh, and we'll add that there. If we're in the game and we cast a spell, by default, it's actually going to report both spells because we have two razors. OK, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's right. It's doing it twice. So in order to turn that off, we're actually going to turn off that in our regular razor. So we only see the razor enhanced one and it's right here. Override spell format. We're just going to uncheck that box. OK, and what we can do now is when we cast a spell, we're only going to see it once. 
This won't be a problem if you only activate one Razor at a time in your JSON settings. So again, is there an advantage of running two Razors? Mm, I don't know yet, but if we only ran one, like we could just delete this line here. We can always add it back if we needed to. The next time we ran Unchained, we would only have Razor Enhance. Hey Jason, okay, now we got Razor Enhanced installed, but why, dude? Like, why are we even going to be using Razor Enhanced? Well, the main advantage of Razor Enhanced over the regular Razor version is its scripting capabilities and some of the data that you can get from the game from the engine itself. If you've ever seen, like, UORazorScripts.com, it's currently mostly about this uh, Razor language itself and that's just a, a custom scripting language that's just text it's basically trying to parse out text and the scripting engine inside of razor enhanced is actually an api that you can you can use c sharp uh, you can use python and you can actually tap into a complete api so what's nice about that is you can get a lot more information from the game using razor enhanced because you're actually able to tap into a real scripting language uh, whereas the community edition of Razor is literally just a preset list of commands that tries to read the data. So one of the things we're going to learn on stream is more about uh, making scripts for Razor Enhanced and then figuring out some of these other options, right? I'm no expert in this. This video is more or less just how to install it and then what servers you can use it on. Well, hey, Jace, what servers can you use it on? That's a whole other thing that I'm going to have to learn together with you guys. Know that some of them just don't allow it. If you if you like play Outlands, for example, it's not allowed. If you're um, on the official UO, it's not allowed. But there's some servers that it actually comes pre-installed, like UO Forever, UO for Lo UO Alive. Those are actually pre-installed with Razor Enhanced. Angel Island, Unchained, you need to install it in the plugins folder. Tell me what server you're playing on and if you have any ideas about using Razor Enhanced. But be sure to check out the live streams. We are going to be learning it together. And then I'll be publishing more videos about learning and sharing with you guys. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Check us out next week. New videos every Wednesday. Catch you in game. Peace.